Travelers, I mean, she was a little bit ago. Welcome aboard. Going from Kuwait to Dubai. So, this is an odd shaped seat. It's 2222. It's nice that they provide the water, but the plugs are way back here. Like, look. Ugh. It's just kind of annoying. But I do love this little shelf. So I'm sure it's like the other flight in terms of onboard entertainment, which was not great. Like just old, old, old. So there's really no need for such a short flight to upgrade to business, but if you've seen my other video, I was coming from Colombo, and I will say business class was not terribly expensive, so that's why I decided to do it. So please check out that video. The link is in the description box below. It's so all cold. It's so cold. I do like their blanket. So even though I was on that bus to come to the aircraft, where did everybody go? I'm in seat <laughs> 7K. This is a bulkhead, but this is not a bad bulkhead, I will say. Yeah, so in terms of the hard product, I actually really like it, but I, the entertainment system is not great. It's old and slow and the selection is poor. Also the bathrooms are just the same as economy except they have some hand cream. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh and a toothbrush. Please also check out the my video of the lounge because I was transferring. It's just a layover I had. I've never flown with Koi Air before and I've really enjoyed it. I would definitely do it again. Especially for the price. I can't get over it. It is a nice storage space. I could actually put my handbag there, I'm sure. Even though it says no storage. See a bit of it. Alright, let's go up. There's a nice little, small little divider that's not very high. massage function. Also be sure to bring your own headphones because the ones provided are not great. You know that I used my Bose ones and I need to get them out of my bag right now. If we're going to travel either in economy or business I would definitely have my electronics charged and bring my own entertainment because this is not going to keep you occupied for any length of time. I will say one thing. I at the time of flying SeatGuru.com, which I usually go to to pick my seat, didn't have any plane listed in Kuwait yet, so I had to go off the, you know, so I had no tips and advice to, or help to know where to sit, so I had no idea based on the map that they provide on the website that this was a bulky thing, it's typically, except that Emirates are probably using the bulky by choice. So, yeah, that was that was just information that I didn't have access to.
sure to check out my in-flight skincare routine. The link is in the description box below. videos of things that we're doing in Dubai. Yeehaw! Oh, I'm so tired. The thing about Dubai is there's free Wi-Fi so I can let Amanda know that I've arrived. But the queue at immigration mentally prepare for a long wait. Unfortunately they haven't given us a pass or anything. When I've flown with Emirates they give us like a fast pass. But don't have one today with Q8 so I don't know how long I'm gonna have to wait.